play a couple songs this morning, get us started off right, and uh, we'll jump into the Word. recently just got over COVID-19 virus and the Lord has helped me through that. Um, but the, the first week there were some, some nights that I, I really was, was having a hard time breathing and, uh, was laying in the bed and, you know, was, was on meds, wasn't, you know, necessarily thinking right in my head, but 
I would sing that song, It's Your Breath in My Lungs. So I pour out my praise to you, Lord. And, um, you know, there are people, um, including myself, it was, there was parts where I was thinking, could this really, could this take me? Could this take me? And um, to trust in the Lord to say that it is his breath in our lungs and we pour out our praise to him. Um, I just, it's meant more to me over the last couple of weeks. Um, so I just want to share that with you. Uh, I want to sing one more song and, and we'll hop into the word this morning. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am.
Jesus can make me whole again. Amen. Well, let's hop into the Psalms this morning. I'm feeling in for Pastor um, today on this cold Thursday morning in December. I love December. I love the Christmas season. The Christmas tree is right over there. Um, something special about the twinkling lights of the Christmas tree. This Sunday, the Christmas decorations were up, and uh, there's just something special about um, the season, and maybe it's nostalgia, maybe it's um, memories, but I think a lot of it has to do with us celebrating the coming of the King Jesus. Um, he came so that he might live a sinless life to die on the cross for us, and um, we celebrate that today. Well, here we go. Hop into Psalm 119, verse 57. You are my portion, Lord. I have promised to obey your words. I have sought your face with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. I will hasten and not delay to obey your commands. Though the wicked bind me with ropes, I will not forget your law. At midnight, I will rise to give thanks for your righteous laws. I am a friend to all who fear you, to all who follow your precepts. The earth is filled with your love. Lord, teach me your decrees. You are my portion, Lord. You are my portion. This is so good. I have promised to obey your words. I have sought your face with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. I will hasten and not delay to obey your commands. Though the wicked bind me with ropes, I will not forget your laws. At midnight, I rise to give thanks to you. Man, this is so good. Um, it's, it's interesting to see that David was writing things um, before Jesus came. You know, it, the things that he was saying... You're, you're my portion. Um, I seek your face. I considered my ways, but my ways aren't, aren't your ways. And we see that same pattern of, that those are, are like similar words to what Jesus said. Um, you know, my ways are not your ways. Um, and then we see, you know, I, I get up and at midnight and rise to give thanks to you. Um, how many times have we gotten up in the middle of the night? I think many of us have gotten up in the middle of the night during distressful times, during, during times where we're struggling. Um, it's always when we're struggling, sometimes we're so close to the Lord because he's all that we have. And uh, we thank the Lord for um, the struggles, for the seasons of struggle, because it pushes us to dive in closer to him. When I was um, serving uh, at my first ministry job, I, I struggled a lot with my, um, with my identity, with who I was as a pastor, with who I was. I wasn't married yet. Um, struggled a lot with what I was doing. I had just moved back from Nashville, and the Lord took me through a lot um, spiritually, but physically, too. I was, I, I, I was overweight when I got there. My appendix ruptured. I lost a lot of weight. Um, I was depressed for some of that time. And I remember during that part of my ministry that God taught me the most because I was closest to him because I didn't have anything else to lean on. And sometimes I think, Lord, I want that same closeness, uh, but I don't, <laughs> don't want that distress and I don't want that extra added to it. I want, I just want to be close to you. And many times it takes the Lord letting us walk through the valley for us to find him and to find comfort in him. Because sometimes we think that we can walk and do this without him. We think that we can walk on our own footsteps and on our own, on our own ideals. And I love what this says. I've considered my ways. I've considered my ways and I've turned my steps to your statutes. I will hasten. I will not delay. I will not delay to obey your commands because he knew how good his, the commands were because they kept him on the path that kept him in right standing with the Lord. It, it wasn't necessarily about being just, just to do his laws and decrees. It was because he knew that it kept him close to the Lord. 
and then at midnight I rise to give you thanks. Um, so maybe maybe this morning, maybe you're shut in, maybe you're, um, you haven't left your house much um, due to COVID-19, maybe, maybe nothing's changed for you, um, maybe you've got a son or daughter that's wayward, maybe um, you're struggling in your family life, um, maybe this has been uh, a good, good season for you, it's been a, a weird year but a struggle, but wherever the, the, uh, the scope finds you this morning, just want to encourage you to, to stay close to the Lord. He is faithful. He uh, never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Um, even when we feel like we're alone, he's never left us. Um, my type of personality, I have to remind myself the promises of God or I take up the thoughts that the enemy places in my mind. I have to take up captive the things that I know to be true about what the Lord has told me. Um, and I have to read his word and I have to fill myself. Um, I know that we all need to fill ourselves, but my personality really tends to lean me to, I need, I need that word of encouragement. I need that. He is my portion. He is who I, I find my strength. He's who I find my joy in. I need that, um, a lot. Um, so I hope that encourages you this morning, wherever you're at, um, um, if you're in the valley this morning, um, I encourage you press into him. This can be one of the best seasons of your life because not because of the valley in your circumstances, but because of how the circumstances push you to be closer to him. And um, if you're just another chilly Thursday morning and you're having a good day, God bless you as well. Um, but um, I want to sing uh, one more song and I'll, I'll let you go. you and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning for all those that are able. God bless you.